Hey everybody, Steve Ritter. So here's another part of our dinner tonight. Uh, it's gonna be our easy uh, tomato cream sauce with pasta. So this is a super easy recipe. It's a big favorite. Uh, the ravishing Mrs. Ritter makes this all the time and she gave me permission to try. <laughs> so and again, if I can make it, you can make it. So super easy, gonna, uh, it's fresh. We're gonna have it tonight with, with pasta. Uh, we're gonna have some, uh, uh, toasted Italian bread made into garlic bread and then we're gonna have some uh, roasted garlic with that too so with the bread so lots of good stuff tonight um, I'm gonna uh, it's pretty easy uh, olive oil butter uh, onion cloves all the ingredients down below with the directions and don't forget to hit thumbs up uh, if you'd like it please like it <laughs> so and I hope uh, and, and uh, if, if this turns out nasty I don't post it so uh, if it's on here, you know it's good. So um, we're going to uh, uh, make this up tonight. And again, it's a, it's always kind of a challenge. We're really um, enjoying the, the empty nest thing. It doesn't mean we don't love our kids, though. Yeah, we do. But uh, it's nice. We can, we can eat uh, these types of meals, and we kind of eat when we're ready. I kind of find that because uh, we usually don't eat breakfast. And then usually, and then we get going out the door, and usually by the time we grab a little something for lunch, it's usually one or two o'clock, and then we, we, we found that we, we end up eating later. So it's, it's uh, in that sense, it's, it's kind of nice because uh, we don't have to worry about putting food on the table for a bunch of hungry kids and all, and it means more for us because we don't have to feed the kids. So <laughs> we kind of enjoying the, the empty nest uh, life a little bit here. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and reset here. We're gonna go over to the, uh, to the stove and, and get cracking. So stand by one, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. So I'm gonna start off, I got a, just a nice uh, deep-sided pan here because you don't wanna have too shallow a pan if you end up having a lot of sauce in there. But this doesn't make a whole lot of sauce, um, but just in case. I, and I like this pan too, the Cuisinart here. So I'm gonna start off, I got a, I'm gonna put it on medium heat I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of olive oil in here. I think that's about two, pretty unscientific, but just kind of judging it there. And uh, two tablespoons of butter, and again, if you if you wonder how much is two tablespoons, just look on the side of the, uh, the wrapper, and it'll tell you, cut it off where it says two. So I'm gonna drop that in here as well. Get that all going. Got my spatula. All right, now, I just want to kind of get this going, and I've got one medium onion that you want to dice it up real fine, and four cloves of garlic. So I've got that going here. I'll go ahead and I'm going to put in my onion. Dice it up nice and fine. Nothing like sauteed onion. And I, I, I I had a technical glitch. I do have the smell meter on now, so you're probably starting to smell that now if you get up real close to the screen. Stir that around in there. Clean it up as I go. Now I add my four cloves of garlic in here. Again, dice it up fine. Ravishing, ravishing Mrs. Ritter says she don't like no big chunks of onion in here, so I diced it up fine for her here. And I want to cook this for a minute or two. I'm not looking to get this soft or anything else because this, this sauce is going to simmer for about uh, 20 to 30 minutes. So I just want to kind of get the little bit of the saute going here. And uh, as the onions cook out here. So just a minute or two. Hope everybody's doing all right. Hope you all are having a great, great time. So Enjoyed taking that little tour of Charleston with you the other day. Uh, I'll do some more of those and, and I'll make sure that it doesn't go into slow-mo. I wasn't real sure if it was slow-mo or if it was it's like I took a Valium or something right before I started talking there. I went into slow-mo so I felt like I should have had some Pink Floyd music playing or something there. <laughs> Comfortably numb or whatever. So, um, So just a minute or so. Let that go, and this is medium heat. Now I want to take is I've, I've got you can go with uh, 30 ounces of you can use tomato sauce, 
I like the crushed tomatoes. I got uh, crushed tomatoes here. This is a 28 ounce can and that works fine or you can use two 15 ounce cans. But I, I do like the crushed tomatoes so I'm going to go with that. And you're just going to go ahead and dump that in. This makes a nice, nice sauce here. So crushed tomatoes go in. And mix that up. And it's as usual, it's salt and pepper to taste. So I'm going to run a little salt in here. Just get this all mixed in good so those onions and garlic flavor gets all in the sauce. Stir it around. Very nice. Oh, oh that smells good. Mm. I always get hungry when I cook. It's hard not to keep sampling. So and I want to just shoot. I'm gonna. I am gonna use pepper on this. So, um, and I'm wondering how much. So, I, just a little trick here. I, I do like to do this ahead of time. Catch it in the cap. Let's see how much we ended up with there. There we go. So probably that's probably about a teaspoon there. Sprinkle that around in there. Right, and then we'll do the same with the salt. I've got my apron on. That's again about another, about a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of salt there. Just kind of sprinkle that around in there. Good, awesome, and uh, you could do this or not. Um, put a little bit of probably a teaspoon of sugar in here just to kind of help cut the acidity down a little bit. So, and then we'll just stir this around. And that's it. And we're going to let this simmer now. I'm going to put this uh I'm going to put this on low heat now. This nice low heat and I'm going to just let this simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. All right. And uh in the meantime, this is, this is where you kind of time it out, get the water boiling. Then when you're about seven minutes out from that, drop your pasta in. Because you want to have this done about, uh, about the time your pasta finishes. Because what I'm going to do now, when I, when I come back, my pasta will be done. I'm going to put the pasta, uh, I'm going to put some cream in, and then I'm going to put the pasta right in with it. And I'm going to mix it all together right in. So it's, it's, it's going to be a nice... Uh, Penne pasta. It's gonna have the sauce covering, coating it, and also just stir occasionally. I got it all mixed in nice. Oh yes, and uh, so uh, I'm gonna let this simmer now over low heat for about 20 to 30 minutes, and we'll be back and we'll be ready to put our pasta in. And uh, so it's gonna, we'll be right back. All right, so it's probably been about 30 minutes now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat off of my uh, sauce here. So it's thickened up. Oh, it smells heavenly. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn, take it off the heat. And I'm going to put in, this is probably about a cup of Parmesan here. Maybe a little bit less than a cup. Mix that in. And I'm going to also add in, I'll stir in a cup of heavy cream. And stir that all in. Tomato cream. There you go. Stir that in real good. We don't add that in while it's cooking because that cream will curdle, burn, scorch. Oh, that looks. Oh, that looks good. So mix that in nice. Still a little steam coming off of it, so it's staying hot. Mix this in real nice. Now my noodles are done. I've got some penny pasta. Now what I'm going to do, um, and there's no way I can uh, zoom this back out. That's the wrong way. Um, let me see if I... Okay, so there's my penny pasta. Let me see if I can do it this way. Now, here's a little trick. So I, my pasta's done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and instead of draining it, I'm going to just bring it right over in there. And I'm bringing over some of the water with me. Now that, again, that 
that pasta cooking, that pasta water has gluten in it. It's going to help the sauce cling to the noodles. I'll just bring this on over. This kind of kills two birds with one stone doing it this way because if the sauce is, is too thick, you could add a little bit of the pasta water into it to thin it out a little bit. I think this is going to kill two birds with one stone. So this is my producer, the Ravishing Mrs. Ritter. It's her idea here, so and I think it's a good one. So of course this penny here is water in the in the noodles itself. Stir that around in there. Looks nice. Now I got we got some uh, nice sausages uh, from the butcher there at the grocery store at the Lowe's, which I'm I'm getting to like that place a whole lot. They although they were out of aged or, or uh, dry aged steaks, but that's okay today. But uh, you're in the in the mind for that. But you see how it's clinging to the sauce. Or the the sauce is clinging to the to the noodles there. Let me get the rest of this out here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put all that in. And I want to go ahead and, so again, I'm juggling a whole bunch of balls at the same time here. Hold on, stand by one second. I got some garlic bread. I need to pull, go ahead and pull this out. So you'll be seeing that in another video. If you haven't already, get the rest of these noodles out here. And I've got the sausages outside cooking right now, so I got my hands full here, man. I'm moving. Moving with a purpose. So getting all these noodles out, stir it in. I've got some fresh basil that I cut from my front porch herb garden. Then I'm going to get here in two shakes. I got one Lone Ranger noodle down in here. Let's get this out of the way. That goes in. Stir that in. And also, I'm going to go ahead. Got my rough cut basil here. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle that in, mix that in. That looks and smells great. Great. Now you see the sauce is clinging to the noodles, which is what we're looking for. Mix it in there real good. Now that is going to be great with some peppers or some, uh, I'm sorry, sausages. So, all right. So I'm going to plate this up and uh, we'll be, actually, I'll give you a good view of it here. So, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. So here's the finished product. So tomato, cream, uh, sauce with pasta. And this is penne pasta. You can use linguine or fettuccine or whatever, whatever pasta you want. But it's uh, you see the the uh, using a little bit the the pasta. It clings nice to the noodles, which is uh, which is good. So I'm going to try this a little bit here on the basil in it. Oh, that smells wonderful. Mm. Well, the ravishing Mrs. Ritter is going to love this. Works real nice. Got the the garlic bread going with it, so I'll be able to sop up all this delicious tomato cream uh, sauce with it. And I've got some uh, roasted garlic that's going to go with the with the the garlic bread too. So garlic overload tonight. So garlic in this, garlic on the bread, garlic in the roasted garlic. So you can't have too much garlic, can you? Can't have too much butter or garlic or together. Anyway, uh, I hope you. Uh, Enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, the ingredients, recipes down below. I'm going to have another bite. I worked up quite the appetite cooking tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. All you loyal fans out there that have joined us and everything, I appreciate it. Appreciate everything. That's just good. I can't stop eating. It's good. So it's the Colonel signing off tonight. Uh, we'll see you next time. Got some uh, other special recipes coming uh, this week. So. Over and out.